This is a session on perspectives on transportation performance management. Um, we have three good speakers today, uh, Frank Broen, Nelson Hoffman, and Matt Hardy. I'll be introducing them uh, each separately as they come up to the podium. We will be taking questions in between each presentation, so get them ready. Uh, but first up is going to be Frank Broen. Frank uh, is both a friend and a national expert in communicating complex transportation issues for planning, systems implementation, multimodal operations, forecasting and trends, and transportation data analytics. He also has, if you can believe it, 40 plus years of experience helping communicate transportation issues on the local, state, and national level. He started when he was three years old. <laughs> so let's welcome Frank. So thank you for the opportunity to share the results of this NCHRP synthesis that I was able to do. My story begins with the simple question, how good is your transportation system? But who is asking the question? Internal analysts, your DOT secretary, elected officials, or the public? Do you know that performance measures, you know that performance measures can be used to tell the story, and this synthesis explores how do DOTs do that? So I'm going to share my top key success factors and then tell stories from five states. And at the end, you're going to have two minutes for a small group discussion among yourselves about what resonated with you and report back to me for three minutes before we actually ask, ask questions. So in 2015, I reviewed all 50 states' efforts to communicate the performance measures. This visually shows how outcome-oriented and the ability to support decision-making I perceive them to be. After I finished the synthesis, I did another review, and I'm impressed by how quickly things have changed in the past few years, and I would say there has been much improvement. So I want to acknowledge the help of these key individuals. Tony First provided brilliant insight into the data gathered. This was Mary Catherine Duncan's first foray into transportation. She is now an owner of Metro Analytics, and she wrote most of the words that are actually published. Barry Mason provided key mentorship to keep me on track. The NCHRP panel members were key partners in guiding the project, and Joe Allen Goss was a very patient guide in keeping me within the synthesis boundaries. Her key concern was not to make any recommendations. You can now read the report. What I'm going to share with you today exceeds those boundaries. I'm also working with students at Rutgers University to develop a dashboard that will you, let you dive into the actual data gathered and explore the state's responses. So here is a one minute overview of what we actually reported in the synthesis. That the key takeaway is simply tell a performance story with visualizations that resonate with your audience. And in order to do that, you have to keep it simple, tell a clear story, connect to the audience. And simplicity is effective, but it is hard. That data has to be transparent, that you have to be able to connect with your audience so that they can see and remember the information, to tell a clear story which is more than simply reporting data, and that leadership matters. So that's a one minute overview of the synthesis. So why does it matter? Pictures are the key to telling a story that resonates. Telling meaningful stories is more than just reporting data. Dashboards are an effective tool that can tell a story that enables collaboration. And I'm currently speaking to those few dedicated people who can actually transform data into performance stories. So let's, deeper, let's go deeper into these five key success factors and then share the story of the five states. The top takeaway, keep it simple. For performance measures, use line, bar, and pie charts with a title that tells the story. 80% of the visualizations examples that were given to me were simple charts with descriptions. Infographics help emphasize important points. 
Maps provide a rich context to understand where challenges exist. Dashboards maximize increasingly limited face-to-face -face meeting time. But simple is relative. Finding solutions to challenging problems involves more complex visualizations. This may be what simplification of big data looks like for analysts who understand the data. Yes, but achieving simplicity is hard. It requires considering many factors, such as the text that describes the data story, the clarity of the message, and the effectiveness of the visualization. So two, tell a clear story. Graphics help people understand and share the story. State DOTs are finding ways to tell their performance stories with effective visualizations that resonate with their audience. A story-rich dashboard that supports the executive leadership's message can help for focus the organization's work to meet its stated objectives. The synthesis shows that data stories can document current status, show a trend over time, show progress towards a target, tell a performance story, support a policy, inform long-term planning, inform medium-term planning, and inform day-to-day -day operations. Yes, but telling meaningful database performance stories is more than just reporting data. A story is not effective if it's not seen or remembered. Even good stories, like seatbelts save lives, are not acted upon. And evaluating effectiveness is a significant challenge. So three, resonate with your audience. Your message must be seen and remembered. The state DOT dashboards deliver information in a structured system that communicates with multiple levels of clearly defined audiences. So sharing the same data information in stories with internal and external partners helps them work together to accomplish common goals. Internal decision makers have to prioritize and manage limited funding. External stakeholders make decisions and provide funding. Internal analysts want detailed data to find problems and solutions. An external audience wants to know how well is the system functioning. Yes, but visualizations can create a foundation to build partnerships within DOTs and between interested stakeholders that enable collaboration. The challenge state DOTs acknowledge is that increasing amounts of data can make it difficult to deliver uh, performance measures effectively to all the intended audiences. A story-rich dashboard that supports the executive leadership's me message can help focus the organization's work to meet its stated objectives. So four, make data transparent. Accurate, consistent information builds trust over time. A strong foundation of performance measure data is necessary to allow analysts to analyze and share information accurately and effectively. An information-rich dashboard is an educational tool that allows more person-to-person -person time to focus on explanation, analysis, and solution strategy planning instead of just locating data and finding reports. Story-rich dashboards can transform the organization's work and drives the desire for information and participation. Yes, but performance measure data has to be well-governed. DOTs are having to adapt to become more resilient and responsive to the increased transparency that accurate performance measure reporting can create. The performance story told by data is not always positive. Increased trust also creates the challenge of increased accountability, and it is difficult to deliver all performance measures effectively to all the intended audiences. So, fifth point, leadership matters. Top-down support encourages bottom-up excellence. Building partnerships within DOTs, um, within DOTs and between interested stakeholders enable, enables collaboration, as this VDOT dashboard will show in just a few slides. But engaging leadership in shaping DOT stories that incorporate performance accurately and telling the performance story is a considerable challenge. These individuals always have a significant demand on their time and the resources that they manage. So delivering the performance story quickly and a clear visualization can improve decision-making for the organization. 
Visualization provides insights, but it does not yet offer a complete solution. With so much data, it's hard to deliver in an intuitive system, and determining ways to evaluate the effectiveness of visualizations would be a big help. So that summarizes the key success factors. Let's look at five state stories. Beginning with one of our pioneers, Washington State DOT uses performance journalism to tell their agency's story. So performance journalism originated as a commitment to the people of Washington State to restoring transparency, accountability, and credibility, and their ability to meet performance expectations. Visualizations use simple language. Performance journalism communicates distinct stories. They explain the who, what, when, and where of what is most currently happening in the transportation system. They're designed for the general public, and they transparently tell the stories based on facts. The purpose is to inform decisions regarding where to allocate resources best and what efforts would be most effective. Virginia DOT's dashboard makes a clear impact. Virginia TOT has successfully used dashboards to communicate performance measures in construction projects, safety, and road conditions. 20 years ago, only 20% of projects were completed on time. This dashboard image shows that it's increased to 89% because they created a dashboard and everybody could see, including the contractors, what the numbers actually were. So VDOT staff successfully created visualization tools to perform measures that identified real-world problems. Building on their experience led them to further innovation and visualization that assisted in solving them. The primarily, primary goal is simplicity. If a visualization is designed to communicate data in a manner simple enough to be understood by the general public, then it's an effective information tool for anyone who may try to use it. Florida DOT has defined the most complete set of multimodal mobility performance measures. So Florida DOT built their partnerships within the transportation system using the digital FDOT source book. These visualization tools are currently being used to increase safety and efficiency in all modes of mobility for auto, bike, pedestrian, transit, aviation, and marine, and it visualizes data for both people and good movement. The source book was created to respond to the customer's requests for data availability in a readily accessible and usable form. This allows previously inaccessible data to be now be used to increase mobility across multiple modes from the local to the state level, and it broadened the constituency of those who can benefit from this information. Utah staff transformed the strategic direction report into a dynamic living document to tell the Utah performance story through a top-down and bottom-up collaboration. With the support from leadership and strong data management, the Strategic Direction website emphasizes the mission of UDOT in a logical, general to specific way. All visualizations tools must be able to prevent, present relevant data in a form that clearly and simply communicated the most significant point or performance story in the most effective, direct manner possible. Start with the mission, vision, values, and strategic goals. Tactical measures and metrics provided 16 specific performance measures. Nested dashboards required analyst login to access, and then regional dashboards provided consistent, detailed data. So the website represents the goals, work, and needs accurately, and transparently makes it easier to identify and solve problems. Arkansas DOT followed the leader, to lead by example. With strong support and direction from leadership, a small staff has produced an impressive dashboard focusing on traffic safety and bridge maintenance. The bridge data dashboard has made it exponentially faster to identify where and when specific bridges need to be replaced. And the goal of the crash analytics dashboard project is ultimately to show the location and severity of every crash throughout Arkansas. The bridge data dashboard has both internally and externally facing tools. And the, the crash analytics dashboard can be filtered and visualized from the general to the increasingly specific. Internal tools display complex data and visualizations, and public tools reflect increased attention to clarity and simplicity. 
So the Arkansas DOT modeled its approach on the success of other states, particularly Utah. The tools are increasingly being relied on by stakeholders, so they're proceeding to create tools that are accurate, transparent, and consistently maintained. So those are my top five success factors and stories from the states. We want to hear from you. What resonated with you the strongest? What are you doing well? Where could you improve? So you can actually get up and you've got two minutes to talk with somebody else right now and share you know, what your idea is. So some of you are gonna have to stand up and move. Sorry about that, but <laughs> you have two minutes. Three, two, one. Thank you. Can I can I hear some ideas of what what resonated? Okay. Thank. Tools to work for different audiences. Um, back here. So keep it simple. Um, I don't know if engineers can do that. So maybe get outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Simple is good, but it is not easy. Uh, we were actually going to keep it simple as well. Amen. Back here, this group. There was a lot of discussion back there, so. <laughs> okay. The, the performance journalism. Yeah. So that was an excellent, yeah, I, I'm most impressed, and in, in Washington State did that because they lost the trust of the government and they, started, they stopped getting funding. And so they realized that they really needed to do something significant, and that's where the performance journalism began in Washington State. So they you know, came up with this concept of performance journalism, you know, and they tell the story. You know, it's told in that title and subtitle. That's the story that the graphic actually supports. So any questions from you that, uh, that you'd like to know? Um, so going on the keeping it simple, because uh, I too struggle with keeping it simple sometimes. You know, you overthink things, you have a lot of ideas that you want to share. Um, what would be your recommendation or thought process to help us keep it simple? So you need to know what your story is and you need to be able to tell your story in one sentence. And if you can do that, then you can create the visualization that tells that story. That's not easy, but that's that's where to begin, you know. So two, I, I, two sentence? Does it have to just say? It, <laughs> what about um, two sentences? <laughs> yes, I yeah. mean the the, yeah. the when you pr report it out, you know that story. But it actually, literally, you should be able to just tell the story in one sentence. Now you may need to put context in with a second sentence, but that's that is the key to this. It is not easy, but it can be very effective. Um, so that, that's what, that would be my, my recommendation and ba backed up by what I actually saw in the synthesis. Thank you. Where do we find the synthesis, Frank? The synthesis is online, it's free. Can I ask how many have actually read it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is online. You know, I think it, it's a well done report. You've seen the high. Online, Frank. Oh, on uh, if you if you just search for NCHRP 584, if you synth, NCHRP synthesis 584, it will take you to the TRB NCHRP website, and you just download it from there. Any other questions? So Washington was motivated, uh, Virginia, their projects were not coming in on time or under budget. When he asked the contractors, they said, we're trying to do the very best job that we can. And they weren't being asked to do it on time or within budget. Once they put the dashboard up, things changed dramatically quickly because they could see red, yellow, green. They did, the contractors didn't want their names shown in red. And so they worked really hard to make that shift happen. Um, there are some states that 
uh, Florida DOT's mobility and performance measures are something they worked for a decade to put together. And they had all of this wonderful data that was published in a PDF. And the, the users said, but, but I want to see my state. I want to see my city. You know, I, I just want to see my area of data. You've got it. And so they created a dashboard to be able to deliver that subset of information to them. Um, Arkansas's story was you know, pretty impressive that it was a small group of people who said, well, we want to create a dashboard. So Arkansas has got all of their crashes shown. There are states that I can go to that they may have that data, but I can't see it. Arkansas published it. So, you know, motivated by very different things.